From part A, we notice that the expected value of x bar equal to the population mean, right, equal 75, and the standard deviation of x bar equal to the population standard deviation divide the square root of the sample size, which will give us the standard deviation of x bar equal 3. And er, we also know that sampling distribution of x bar is a normal distribution because the population is normally distributed, right? Now let's look at the second question. So the second question asks, what's the probability that the average aptitude test in the sample will be between 70.14 and 82.14, okay? So let's see, for the second question, actually try to find out, okay, I'll write up second question. You will try to find out the probability for x bar lies between 70.14 and 82.14, okay? So this is the probability that this question want to find. How can we find out this probability? As we know that the sample distribution of x bar is normally distributed, right? So we can convert this x bar into z, right? So this is go back to what we have learned in chapter six, okay? Then here, what we need to do is, I will just write it down, okay? We will use still get a probability, okay? And then 70.14 minus 75, this is expected value of x bar, divide the standard deviation three, okay? That will be less or equal x bar divide, sorry, minus 75 divide three, and then similar, 82.14 minus 75 divide three. So here we try to convert normal distribution into our standard normal distribution, okay? So we will have this probability, okay? We'll have this probability of negative 1.62 less or equal z, okay? We transfer this part into z and less or equal 2.3a, okay? So from this part, you notice we switch or we convert normal distribution into standard normal distribution. Then based on the standard normal distribution, we can use the Z table, help us to find out a probability, right? So this probability here will equal Z, that's or equal 2.3a, subtract for the probability of z, less or equal negative 1.62, okay? So based on this, then we can go back to our standard normal distribution table to find out a probability. So you will notice I will use this table again. The first number is z, less or equal 2.3a, right? So we need to go back to this table, find out the z value here. z equal 2.3, that will be the first digit. And then you need to find out the second digit, okay? So corresponding, we can find out the value will equal 0.9913, okay, that will be the probability for z less or equal 2.38, okay? So we can just write it down. 9913, and then subtract for the z, the probability for the z less or equal to negative 1.62, okay? So similar, still using this Z distribution table, okay? Negative, negative 1.6, find out the first digit, and then 
we need to find out the second digit. So it's 1.62. So you need to find out the second digit here and then get a corresponding property or equal 0 0.0526. Okay, let's just write it down. Two, five, sorry, five, two, six. So finally, it will tell us the probability will equal nine point nine three eight seven. Okay, so this is the probability for the average aptitude test in the sample lies between 70.14 and 82.14, okay? This is first step. We change the normal distribution into standard normal distribution and then use the Z table, okay? Help us to find out the probability. Now, similar, let's look at question part C, okay? So for part C, you will try to find out a probability that the average aptitude test in their sample will be greater than 82.68, okay? So here, it is the same to find out a probability for, this is the average aptitude test, okay? Large than 82.68. Similar, first step, we need to convert this X bar into Z, okay? So very similar. Let's just do it. I will use a different color to separate a little bit, okay? X bar, subtract the expected value, divide the standard deviation, okay? Larger than 82.68 subtract 75 divide 3 okay so from this part we notice it will equal the probability of the z large than 2.56 okay so how to have how to find out the probability of this z larger than 2.56 as we have learned from Chapter 6, we notice this probability is equal, or we say equals 1 subtract for the probability of the z less or equal 2.56, okay? Then based on this, we can also go back to our standard normal distribution table, okay? So we can just write it down, it will equal 1 subtract, how to find out this value? Still go back to our standard normal distribution table and find out for the z value equal to 2.56. So first, you can go to find out the 2.5 and then that will be the first digit, right? The second digit will be 0 0.06. So this will be the probability for z less or equal 2.56. So this is equal 0.994a. Okay, we can just write it down. Which will give us this probability will equal 0.0052. Okay, so that will be for our part C. Then let's see for next question. So for part D, it asks, what's the probability that the average aptitude test in the sample will be less than 78.69, okay? So this is corresponding to, for the P probability of this X bar, less 78.69, okay? Similar, okay, we can just convert this normal distribution into standard normal distribution. So convert the X bar into Z. X bar subtract the expected value, divide standard deviation, less 78.69, subtract 75, divide 3. 
and then this will equal for the probability that z less one point two three and then what you need to do similar okay go back to your standard normal distribution table and find out z equal to one point two three first so let's first find out the first digit one point two and then corresponding the second digit you can find out the probability will equal 0 0.8907 okay so we can just write it down 8.8907 8 okay so from here we solve for the three questions about the properties of this x-bars distribution okay